ever noticed how some apps are smooth and responsive while others feel awkward and unreliable and the secret sauce often boils down to one thing architecture and today we are talking about one of the most famous patterns in this game mvc or model view controller architecture whether you are building a to-do app or a global e-commerce platform software architecture shapes how your code grows or crumbles and mvc isn't just a design pattern it's a tried and true method that has been powering systems since the late 70s. Why? Because it works. But what exactly is MVC and why should you care? Let's break it down in this video. Imagine you are ordering a pizza online. The model is like the pizza kitchen. It holds the recipe and knows how to make the pizza. It manages all the behind the scenes data, your order details, toppings and delivery time. In software, the model manages data, logic, and rules. Think of a pizza order class in Java. The model is the part of the application that knows everything about your data. It encapsulates the business rules, for example, calculating the price of the pizza, the state, for example, storing the pizza order details, and persistence, such as fetching data from your database. The model is smart when it comes to logic and data, but it doesn't care about who is using the data or how it is displayed. It just handles what needs to happen. Your app's view is like the pizza box. It shows you the delicious result but doesn't know how the pizza was made. The view handles everything visual. Think of it as the face of your app, what your users see and interact with. The view is only concerned with the presentation. It takes the data prepared by the model and formats it for the user. It doesn't care where the data comes from, how it was calculated or what logic was involved. Its job is simple to look good and keep the user happy. And here is a simple command line view. The pizza view class here has a single responsibility to take data, like the details of an order, and present it in a way that's easy to understand. In this case, it's just printing the data to the console. No calculations, no database queries, no logic for how the price was determined. It is just presenting the final result. The controller is the pizza delivery guy. You tell them what you want and they coordinate between the customer and the kitchen that is the model. The controller is often referred to as the central brain because it decides what to do with the inputs. It coordinates how the model and view interact. It also ensures the right data flows between the model and the view. And here is a simple controller tying everything together. Now, while the controller doesn't have the depth of logic, the model has. Controller is the coordinator. It directs traffic and decides how things should interact. The controller manages input, processing requests, and updating views. It acts as a middleman. In the real world, frameworks like Spring MVC and ASP.NET MVC take this pattern to a whole new level. For instance, Spring MVC uses controllers to manage web requests, model for business logic, and views for rendering HTML templates. This clean separation allows teams to work in parallel, speeding up development. But like pizza, not all MVC implementations are well done. Sometimes things get messy and your code base ends up feeling like a burnt crust. Hard to chew and impossible to fix. But don't worry, let's talk about three common mistakes and how you can avoid them. First up is the fat controller. Think of this as the pizza delivery guy who tries to cook the pizza, answer customer calls and fold the boxes all at the same time. But you know what? It doesn't end well. Similarly, in the MVC world, controllers often fall into this trap. They start innocent, just handling requests and passing data between model and the view. But then someone sneaks in some logic. Oh, let's calculate discounts here. Or why not handle database queries here too? And before you know it, your controller is doing everything and it's a giant bloated mess. The solution, refactor. Push business logic down into the model where it belongs. The controller should stay lean and focused like a good manager who delegates work effectively. Let's talk about business logic in views. That is another major red flag. In MVC, the view is responsible for displaying data, not processing it. Putting calculations, data management or other logic in the view creates chaos. Your code becomes harder to test and you lose the clean separation between logic and presentation. So keep the view as dumb as possible. Let it simply display what the controller and model give it to. No questions asked. And finally, let's talk about tight coupling. Tight coupling in your MVC implementation means your components are so dependent on each other that changing one breaks everything else. This is a nightmare for maintenance and scalability. And to fix this, keep your components loosely connected. Use interfaces, dependency injection, or even base communication to ensure that each part of your MVC setup can evolve independently. Remember, 
Independence makes scaling easier. By dodging the pitfalls, you'll bake in MVC implementation that's clean, maintainable, and perfectly done. MVC isn't just a pattern. It's a philosophy that keeps your apps clean, scalable, and easy to maintain. It's why companies from startups to tech giants rely on it. And if you are hungry for more, dive deeper into MVC frameworks like Spring and other architecture patterns in my playlist in description. Keep building, keep learning, and remember, architecture matters. <laughs>